In this video, we're going to be talking about another new feature that was introduced in Cribmaster version 11, and that is conditional formatting. It's very similar to the type of conditional formatting that you'd see in Excel. As an example, I've got my item record screen open. I'm going to right click on a column header, and about halfway down, you will notice that there is a new option called conditional formatting. And it's in here that I can set up specific rules uh, for formatting based on uh, whatever criteria I, I have entered. Uh, for example, uh, I might um, highlight certain rows that have certain um, uh, words in them. For example, since I right clicked on the description column, I can come in here and I can say highlight rows where the text contains gloves. And how do I want to highlight them? Well, I'll say that I'll do a green fill. And I'll apply the formatting to an entire row. So as you can see, Cribmaster has highlighted all the instances where the description has the word gloves somewhere in it. And it allows me to scroll through and just get a nice bird's eye view of, of whatever type of data I'm looking for. Other examples, of course, you can look at duplicates versus unique records. Um, you can look at uh, specific uh, price types or um, item types, um, anything of that nature. Uh, now, if I wanted to clear any of the rules, I just come down here and I can either clear the rules from just one column or from all columns. Now, to open up, I'm going to open up the bin records because I want to show a different type of conditional formatting. I'm going to right click on the bin quantity uh, column header and when I come down to conditional formatting now I get some uh, additional um, options. Let me minimize the ribbon here so we can see uh, some more information. So for example I can put some up and down arrows so you can see the trend of your bin quantity as it either moves up or moves down. Or perhaps I can put in some data bars, which will tell me just how full or how empty these bins are based on the mins and maxes that are entered. Once again, just a way to get uh, just a nice bird's eye view of the data that's inside um, your database. Now, if you wanted to get really granular, you can right click, say conditional formatting, and you can go to a custom condition. So we'll say that the item type equals gauge, and we'll click as plus. We'll say the description uh, contains torque. And we'll do a red fill on the entire row. So really, you can, you can make these as complex as you need to. Uh, and it's a really helpful way to make certain types of records stand out. 